Is DNA testing needed? Megan and Harry's fake kids apparently discovered by the late queen. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the King YouTube channel. A source has reported that the new book is going to cause quite a stir, or perhaps even an earthquake. The insider revealed, I have been busy during the last few days proofreading the most intriguing book which has just been written. It's about the big royal scam, Markle's rumored fake pregnancies and the use of surrogates, together with how the late queen was apparently involved in the cover-up. The insider continued saying the royal family was placed in an impossible position and Harry's wife delighted in causing them such a major headache. I was flattered and honored to be asked to check the final stages of the text before publishing. When I've been given the green light to explain more about it, I will. Well, I don't know about you all, but personally, I cannot wait to get my hands on this book. Now, my opinion is that maybe Megan tried to keep this scam to herself, but the queen discovered what was going on. Could this be what caused Megxit? That woman is capable of pulling a stunt like this, no doubt about it. I have believed from the very beginning that Megan did so many things to warrant the two of them being kicked out of the UK. But a hidden fake pregnancy, that would certainly be the last straw for the royal family. I have never, ever bought the story that Megan and Harry left on their own. Instead, I'm pretty sure they were told to leave. And I'm hoping the whole story comes to light. Harry's insistence that they are owed an apology might center around this whole issue. And if that's true, then Harry simply does not understand. They are in the wrong for whatever dishonesty they're guilty of. They're the ones who should be apologizing. But what I cannot understand is why the royal family failed to clear all of this up at that time. I mean, it could have easily been their reason for leaving, and it would have made sense to everybody. Meghan and Harry would be seen as the liars they are, and perhaps the other interviews would never have happened. And if they really did use surrogates, then would the kids even have DNA from both parents, or would it just be from Harry? Not that it would make any difference in the line of succession issue, but it would affect custody when they get divorced. If somebody could manage to locate either invisible child and procure a single hair from either child's head, well, they could make a lot of money answering that question. Another problem is the story that Harry told us in his book Spare about his todger being frostbitten. If it was bad enough that he had to finally go to a doctor a few weeks later because it was still bothering him and it still had not gotten better, odds are his sperm production was affected. I mean, I would assume that there would be very little mobility for the few sperm that survived. It would also permanently restrict and damage the urethra, which would make it very unlikely that Harry could even produce what was necessary for that surrogate. And this is why I do not believe they are ever going to bring the invisible children to Britain, because they know the family would have a chance to get something to test for DNA. And I think for the surrogacy, she got her friend Marcus to make the donation necessary. And those are facts they would want to keep hidden from the royal family. Because once they find out those children are not even biologically theirs, anything that the queen would have set aside for those invisibles would be absolutely gone. And if Meghan had kept up the lie when doing that Oprah interview, then the responsibility would have been on Meghan and Harry to produce the DNA results to prove the children really were theirs. Well, they wouldn't have been able to do that. So at that point, they would have been absolutely raked across the coals on a global level, and the royal family could have rested easy knowing they did the right thing. So here's my personal opinion of what went down. So let's think back to how Eugenie and Jack had to push back their original wedding date because Harry and Meghan wanted to go first. And there was a lot of positivity and positive media when Harry and Meghan's engagement was first announced. And it was all genuine. People were just happy that it seemed like Harry finally found the woman he loved and could stay with forever. And Meghan Markle was something different. She was something unique. Well then, just a little while later, at Eugenie and Jack's wedding, Meghan decided that was the perfect moment to announce to the entire family that she was pregnant. I mean, how dare she do something like that? So tacky. So of course, the news ended up being leaked. And I'm sure that was Megan. And at that time, most people still supported Harry and Megan. People were so happy for them. People were excited to find out that there was a new royal baby on the way. But then they faced quite the dilemma. The news was already out, and I'm sure the royal family was shocked by it. So what could they possibly do? How could they possibly react? Now, in the beginning, Megan did not have the bump yet. So I'm sure they were excited for Megan and Harry. 
But as time went on and the truth eventually came out, then what were they supposed to do? I mean, how could they explain all the weird stuff? The slipping of that bomb, the cracking popping noises, the swishing from side to side all on its own. They couldn't be the ones to come out and announce the whole thing was fake because at that point the public and media were still so excited by this pregnancy. I mean, seriously, just imagine the backlash the family would have faced if they came out and made an announcement that in fact Megan wasn't pregnant and they were using a surrogate. Now, of course, there is nothing at all wrong with using a surrogate. But see, then there's that bothersome little born of the body issue they would have had to figure out. And if the royal family had come out and announced that they were using a surrogate, of course, people were going to start asking questions about the child being in the line of succession. And the royal family would have been accused of being racist. It would have been a lot worse than what came after that skin color question. Because people would have said those children are innocent and Meghan and Harry had no choice but to use a surrogate. And people are trying to take away their birthright. So I suspect if they did use a surrogate, and they could have, the children should be removed from the line of succession. But I can understand how the royal family could very well have been between a rock and a hard place. I have seen the videos, I've heard the sounds from that moon bump, and it always makes me so angry to think that those pitiful excuses for humans did that just to tease their own family. And I believe it was all intentional. They knew exactly what they were doing. They were smirking the whole time. They were so proud of themselves for pulling a fast one. Well, you know, could the monarchy have survived the backlash if they acknowledged the truth? Now, I believe it would. But the simple fact is that Meghan intentionally flaunted that ever-changing bump as a middle finger to the royals. She was loving it the whole time. So I also would not have felt the same if it were somebody decent who became Harry's wife and had good reasons to use a surrogate. Of course not. I would be the first person to support them if there were legitimate reasons involved and if it were a legitimate wife. I mean, in this situation, I think the only right thing to do is to take those kids out of the line of succession because their alleged mother is going to use them for the rest of her life because she's going to do her best to try to hurt the royal family until she's finally gone. And you, what do you think about this issue? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. Because unfortunately, our time is up. There are no words, though, to describe how I feel about your comments. They are excellent. I love reading them, so please keep them coming. Please don't forget to subscribe to our The King YouTube channel to get more updates in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a lovely evening, and, you know, we'll be back to see you tomorrow. Bye. I love you all.